Hey guys, welcome to day two of our wonderful virtual board high school experience. Man, crazy. I sure hope I get to see you guys live sooner than later because as much fun as we're having now, it could be a whole lot better anyways. Uh, I am actually making this video as kind of a test to see how well uh, doing kind of a video tutorial on a Microsoft Teams meeting works uh, with like sound and stuff so there could be some hiccups we're gonna see I'm gonna do a little demo tutorial type video that I've done in the past um, those of you who have been in my class before you're very familiar with these so I'm gonna make the video put it on YouTube um, have the video like playing today during class hopefully with sound and we'll see how it goes uh, if it doesn't work I'll just manually go through the presentation and uh, we'll make some tweaks and make it work. Okay, so the screen that we're looking at right now, um, if you're in my marketing class period four, uh, is your Teams. And so I've got several things already posted there, so I'm sure by now that you're pretty familiar with how these Teams things work, but just in case you don't, you've got your post section, you've got files, We'll talk about class notebook later if we use it and you can find assignments here your grades and then you don't have this tab this insights tab is something that i'll actually kind of show you live uh, during class it's it's a way for me to see how uh how engaged you are actually like if you stay in the class the whole time if you're replying to stuff if you're actually turning stuff in so pretty powerful tool uh, so anyway we've got the syllabus here We've got the online learning schedule here. If you go into files, you'll see that I pinned uh, three things, the syllabus, the online learning, and then this is the presentation I'm actually gonna be going through. So if for some reason uh, you're not seeing the screen when I share it today, um, you can go to the file section and find this file. You can open it up yourself. So there's a PDF version right here and there's a PowerPoint version. I suggest opening up this PowerPoint version so that you can actually click on the links. So, let's go through it real quick. I'm not gonna read every word, um, but I just wanna kinda go through it. So, in the Teams environment, in the online environment, here's kind of some of the norms. So, we want the, the mics mute and muted, and that's not because I don't wanna hear you talk. I actually do, but uh, I'm sure you've already seen in other classes when there's multiple mics on, you get like feedback, and you can't hear everybody talk at the same time. And so, we just have to be a little more cognizant of how we're talking to each other in an online environment, so there will be chances to talk. I will ask for people to talk, but you know, for the most part, we're muting our mics so that we can get you the information. Um, we're going to use the chat area heavily for questions, so I will be monitoring that on a different um, screen, um, and I'll be prompting things in there, and I'll be giving you links and stuff in the future. So the chat area definitely you should have up. Uh, my suggestion. Um, if you don't already do this, you should maybe get Microsoft Teams on your phone and then you can have like the chat area on your phone while you're actually on the meeting and on your computer. So that way that's like your second screen. Um, I need you to engage in the contact content. That just means like you're participating. So there's going to be lots of ways to do that in the upcoming weeks, um, you know, verbally and doing replies and doing reactions and that sort of thing. Um, be responsive to prompts. So it's it's not learning if you're just sitting there with your sound off and you're in the corner playing, you know, uh, you're playing PS4 or something. I mean, I'd like to be doing that too, but we all have a job. Your job's to be a student. My job's to be a teacher. I'm here for you. I'm ready to do my job. I need you to be ready to do your job. Last thing, have an open mind. We're all we're all going to make mistakes. Even me, maybe. Um, I'm I'm learning new things every day about uh, different tweaks of programs and that sort of thing. So. Um, just extend some grace to your teachers, to your fellow students, um, to everybody, because it's something that we're all getting used to at the same time. So just going through some of the basics. Uh, you might already know a lot of this stuff, but I just wanted to make sure from my end that you do. So if you open up this PowerPoint presentation from the file section that I already showed you, all these tiles right here, um, if you click on the link, it'll actually go uh, to the resource. So if you wanted to know more about what if I forget my password, if you click on this, it's going to go and tell you how you can actually uh, get your password fixed, which is multiple ways. And I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so 
Teams 101, this guide right here is like super helpful. I've actually been using it myself for things. So if you click on that, it'll take you to, I think it's like a 16 slide little guide on pretty much everything you need to know about how Teams works. Uh, you can watch their YouTube ch uh, channels here or videos. Um, what's this more resources? I haven't, uh, that's for teachers. Okay, so you don't, probably don't need that. Um, synchronous versus asynchronous. You've seen these terms, or hopefully you've seen these terms, so I just wanted to explain those a little bit. Uh, synchronous, that means when we're all, like right now, well, in the future when I get you guys out in the meeting. Uh, synchronous means we're all in the same spot at the same time. So uh, when we're in the meeting and I'm giving this presentation or you're watching this video as the presentation, we're all sitting in the same spot. Asynchronous means that, you know, you might be watching this video after the school time. So for fourth period today, 10.15 to 11.15, that's the official class time. Uh, asynchronous would be as if you were watching this like in the afternoon and you were getting instructed that way on how to do things. Um, accessing Teams, you can go to office.com and sign in with your uh, Fresno uh, credentials. Um, and then here's some more Teams info if you wanted to click that video. How do I contact my teacher? So many ways. On your on your laptop or your phone, uh, you can get these. In fact, you guys should really use your phones a lot for these apps because I know you're, some of you are more comfortable with phone apps. Um, so Office 365, Outlook, um, Teams. I really suggest getting Teams on your phone. Um, if you need to get a hold of uh, your teachers, if, email is probably best or the Teams. Um, if you go to the Bullard High School website, which you can click on here, there's a teacher links section in the remote learning tab and any teacher that you have you can click on it, it takes you directly to Outlook and then you can email them. Um, extra help so in the afternoons uh, there are times every teacher is supposed to uh, be available for a period so for this week it's oh today is periods two four six so um, these would be the afternoon office hours so for me I just I have uh, the meeting link just open and I will be available and if I see someone in the lobby I'll let them in and if you have questions or just want to chat or whatever then that's cool I'll be available um, once we get started on like actual curriculum and learning and stuff uh, you might want to like join this Bullard high school tutoring link uh, it's actually another team that you can join so the links right there if you want to join that um, password stuff so just some details like you can just plain old call the office and, and they'll get you some help. Um, ooh, they have a bad number. That's not what a phone number looks like. Let me see if I can fix that. I'll get back to you guys. Um, the other way is you actually, you, the student, can go into Atlas and change it. Although if you're locked out, that's not possible, right? So, um, and then me, I can go in. So if you get a hold of me, I can go into Atlas and actually change the password for you or actually reset it. So, and you'll get an email. Uh, translation. So this is pretty cool. So when you're in Teams, whenever you see like a three dots like this over here, you can click on it and you're going to get in a menu of things you can do in the chat section. If for some reason you need to use a primary language other than English, you can translate it, which is super awesome. Uh, tech hints. This is something, if you've been in my class before as a freshman, seniors uh, these are things that I teach so if you forgot I'm going to teach you again so screenshots you're going to be using screenshots a lot in this environment um, the online schooling environment so uh, if do you remember the snipping tool the snipping tool so if you go down here to search and you, you put in snipping tool and it looks like the little scissors and you click on it and then once you do that you actually want to right click on it and then pin it to your toolbar so you never have to search for it again and that's how you can actually get screenshots quite easily. And then splitting your screen is going to be a good thing. Like I said, uh, like if you have your phone for a second screen, that's probably a little better. But also, if you want to just like split your screen so you can see two things at once, that's going to be super awesome. Um, this is just a picture of all our counselors, which is good. Sometimes maybe you haven't seen them yet. Um, so for freshmen, these are like your freshman teachers up here. And maybe you've seen their name, but you haven't seen their face. They're all super awesome ladies. They're nice. And then down here for you seniors, these are your counselors, and they're super amazing. Um, and that's it. So you got a name to the face. Uh, how can you be informed? So your your parents are getting school messenger calls, probably too much right now, but it's the beginning of school. That's what happens. 
Um, so that'll continue to happen. Uh, you have Atlas, so parents have their Atlas, you have your Atlas. Um, some teachers are using Remind. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but maybe. Um, Instagram, if you guys are Instagram people. Uh, I think Mr. Dr. Sanders uses uh, is the one that runs the Instagram, the official uh, Knights Instagram, so you can uh, go follow that. Counseling also has their own Instagram. And also uh, Blue Nation Student Store, so you seniors, if you're not already following, that's your store this year. So you need to go to Blue Nation 55 and follow so that you can be a part of all that's happening. And yes, we will be operating as a store in some capacity. I've got some ideas. I'll be talking to you about them. And it's going to be amazing. All right. Who can we talk to? So here's a picture of some uh, support people. Unfortunately, in the picture, the nurse isn't there, but she's a super awesome lady. Miss Langlo is right here, and she's very helpful. You've got Miss Gomes and Miss Ramirez, these two ladies right here who are the social workers that can be of help to you. And then you you got these guys who they forgot to put their names, so i got to go figure out uh, who those guys are. Uh, where do I report tech issues? So on your laptop, if you have a, uh, a school laptop, you're going to see this icon on your desktop, hopefully, or you can search TSP. You click on it, and it will take you to this section where you can actually ask IT for help with your device. That could be computer, hotspot, uh, camera, whatever it is. Uh, you can get some technical support. Um, okay, participation and discipline. So I'm not going to gloss over this. I'm going to go through this kind of in detail. So teachers and administrators are using Insight. I showed you that in this video. Um, I don't know if all of them are using it. They, they should be. And any teacher who asks me how to use it, I'm going to teach them how to because it's a great way for us to know if you, as the students, are actually showing up or leaving early or actually raising your hand or replying or you know it's it helps us know that you're not just sitting behind a turned off camera and you know doing something else um, there's a virtual incident report right here so if you think that you know there's some bullying or violence or sexual misconduct between student to student or staff to student or anything that you're uncomfortable with you can click on that link and go to that uh, Bullard High School has always had a tip line that you could call so this phone number right here just tip line so um, that's that's for an anonymous emergency type of thing so you can use that showed you the social emotional support stuff um, hopefully you know who your VP is and then this is the one I really wanted to talk about so uh, most of the students really weren't aware of this so gaggle is oh, let's see if I can actually click on it and, and, I'll, and I'll show you what we're talking about Okay, so gaggle, gaggle. That's a video. No, I don't want to play the video. So gaggle. I'm gonna take that away. Gaggle is a thing that runs in the background uh, of Teams that actually is kind of like a filter. Like you know how we have filters for the internet. Well, this is kind of a filter reporting system for Microsoft Teams. And <laughs> yesterday, in the first day, it was already in use and it worked really well. Um, so basically anything that you're doing in teams, if you're doing chats between student to student, student to class, you know, student to teacher, if you're doing stupid stuff like, hey, I've got a gun, um, it's going to automatically flag you and send an email to a VP and you're going to be hearing from them. Um, I kind of tested it out on, you know, a, a Microsoft team called, uh, you know, searching up GIFs and I, I wanted to test the system. So I was like, Hey, I want to put a GIF of a gun, and it's like, nope, we're not going to let you do that. And I looked up, hey, I, I want to put a GIF of drugs, and, and Gab was like, no, nah, we're not going to let you do that. So it, it's pretty effective. And bottom line, it, I don't want to scare you, and it's not like anything to be really, you know, freaked out about. But basically, you already knew before that you're being monitored, you know, by eyes and cameras. But now you're just your whole life is monitored, and Gaggle is just one of those tools. Just be aware. Don't be doing stupid things or you'll get some consequences last thing uh, your vice principals we have two new ones this year Miss Nunez is new to us and Mr. Peters is new to us Dr. Sanders has been here for a long time and Miss Perez and Miss Harrod have been here this is their second year I believe so that's that and um, I'm going to end this video and then maybe go and go over the syllabus after this um, I will talk to you in a bit.